Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple search engine in Excel without any need of uh, programming knowledge. And what the objective is, is that if I input a term, then I would like all or only, only those rows to appear which have this term. It doesn't matter where they have that term, but basically they have the term somewhere. So if I input like Spain, I don't want to have only those rows appear where Spain is a country, but possibly a product which has Spain in it or a brand which has Spain in it and so on. Or if I input the, the number of 45, then I would like to have like somebody who has 45 as carbs or some 45 in here in the, in the kilocalories or some 45 as proteins and so on. So how can I do that? Well, the simplest way is you, you insert a new column, just the way I did here, and then what you do, you let, let me give that a name as well, let's call it search. And what I do now is I basically concatenate all those things. Now what, what does concatenate mean? Well, concatenate means we combine this and this and this. And the way that concatenation works, there are two ways to concatenate in, in Excel. One is to use the function concatenate, but that's, that's too slow. And a way, much faster way is basically we start off like with any formula, with an equal, and then you click on the first cell you wish to concatenate, and then you add an and, and basically you can go like this, and I just basically concatenated, if I just expand that, I concatenated basically these two. Now, I would like, I don't like concatenating cells like this. I prefer to have some sort of separator between the cells. And I, you know, you can, you can choose any separator you wish. I'm gonna choose a hyphen, and then like this. So don't forget, when you concatenate, always between each entity just add an uh, you know a sort of an ampersand so basically it's the cell and then you know that that hyphen and then the next cell and and that's the way it's going to go let me just copy that so it simplifies matters and we can speed the whole process up so i paste that and then i click on the next cell paste that and the next cell paste that next paste next paste next oops yeah it doesn't matter paste next paste next so got it so now i've basically concatenated the whole content in one cell you see so the whole row is now in here right and i don't need to keep that big this field is not that important so now what i do not that important to see basically and then i just double click here and it just auto fills down to the rest of the data so that's the first step and I could, you know, reduce it because this here is not to be seen. It's just as a useful tool. Now, the next step is basically called uh, auto filters. And now that's it. Now, all I need to do, if I need, if I input any term, let's say Spain and go, I would get every, uh, all data where Spain is a country. Now you see here, I got the Spains and here, apparently there are no uh, Spain products or no products with Spain in them. Neither are there any brands. And um, let's try it out with, uh, with something else. Let's 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 try it out with a number. Let's say forty-five. And now here we can see we have forty-five as carbs. Then we have here the four five two. Yeah, that's that's where where it is. And then we have uh, here a forty-five in fats. So you see. Something like that would be useful if you have a lot of data and you wish to find where is where is that term in the data. I don't care where it is. I don't care whether it's a product or a country. I just need to know where that is in the data. That's an easy way to do it. Just concatenate the whole row, or you know, and 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 uh, and then search in that column where you concatenated all those rows.